news. It's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. About bloody time. Don't let the side down. Safe for now. In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day. Hard pass. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Um, interesting conversations. Unlike this one. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. I'm here. What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what's the plan? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Search uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like noodles, meaning you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Nicely done, sweetie. Break in and connect Bagley to a filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual.
That central server is Billiman's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Well, shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Sorry, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Suggestions? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Doors are sealed until you take out the microwave drones. Drones down, server room unlocked. And buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. Suggestions? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion. But Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're unplugging it and then plugging it back in again? Close enough. Anything could happen here.
around this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. You look at this! A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bond were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise. And it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Could you shoot this drone down? I'm asking for lightning to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central court to complete the cycle. Well done, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little bastard. With pleasure. Take a breath. I'm fully integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. <laughs> Fuck! Hello again. You know... For all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure.
What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Is there a reason why we're not driving our car right into the river? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. SIRS counter-terror director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in DedSec's London cell. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Let's see it. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS-using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. All right, Richard. We know you were behind the High Commission bombing, and we know you were involved with the earlier bombings as well. Time to talk. The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. But you knew about Zero Day when you approached us. I'm a spy. So, yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Honestly, it doesn't matter. We're going to learn the truth, and until we do, you're not going anywhere. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. 
We won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. I wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. 